What's up, y'all? Trey be dipping in the building. You know what time it is. So today's video, I'm gonna do a quick little video on how to swap out your brake master cylinder. Pretty simple job, but let's get right into it. So for those of you who don't know what a brake master cylinder is or where it is in the engine bay, rather, uh, it's right here. Um, on the right, on the driver's side, it's the bigger of the two containers. This is your clutch master cylinder. It's your brake master cylinder. Now you can see, hopefully, how I got some moisture. You see that moisture on the brake booster back here? That That's usually a solid indication that the seal in your brake master cylinder has gone bad. I bled this brake system probably at least uh, three times and the pressure is good whenever the car is off, but then when the car is on and it has vacuum going to the brake booster, it seems to lose pretty much all its pressure. So um, I'm gonna start with go ahead and just replacing the brake master cylinder. And I'm just gonna basically walk through and show you guys. Uh, it's, it's a pretty simple install, uh, as long as you have the right tools. But back to over here. So as you can see, there's two, there's two lines going into the brake master cylinder here and here. Um, those are 10 millimeters. I recommend getting a crescent wrench. Uh, if you don't know what that is, just Google it. A crescent wrench, it's a 10 mil, but it has like an extra angle on it that makes it a little bit harder um, for it to strip these fittings, which is very possible. Um, a lot of times these are in there pretty good. And if you use a regular 10 mil, you are you have a higher chance of stripping it not every time but on mine i was able to actually break it loose with a regular 10 mil but basically what you're going to do is break those 10 mils loose we'll get the brake lines off and then if you come back and you can look on the actual brake booster you can see i want to say that's a 12 millimeter possibly 14 but i think it's a 12 it's two bolts or I'm sorry two nuts holding uh the master cylinder in there hopefully you can see that and and there so basically we're gonna get all this taken apart and take it off inspect it get the new one on So I got the old crusty, dusty joint out. Um, I am not a brake master cylinder expert, but that looked fucked up to me. You know what I'm saying? And on top of that, it was leaking. So now this is the brand new uh, brake master cylinder. I'm gonna do like a little uh, bench bleed. Uh, I'm not gonna do a full breakdown on how that works. Just uh, you pretty much fill the cylinder up with clean brake fluid let it drip out from the ports. Once the ports are dripping, then it comes with these, well mine did, I don't know. Mine come with came with these uh, plastic screws um, and then you would cap that off and then the last step is you pretty much press the cylinder in. Um, and you probably wanna have this on a vise, but press the cylinder in, force the remaining air out the top and essentially you will leave these plastic pieces in until you're ready to attach the brake lines. So. That's just a little quick little overview of that.
all right so there you have it i got the new uh brake master cylinder installed i bench bled it um got it back installed got the fluid topped off obviously i will have to bleed the brakes and i'm not gonna bore you guys with that but um essentially what you're gonna do is or what i'd like to do is i like to start on well let's put it like this i do the driver's side um caliper last because it's the closest to the reservoir easiest to bleed so basically you want to do an x pattern based on that so essentially i'm going to do the driver's side rear first then i'm going to come do the passenger side front passenger side rear and then finally driver's side uh front with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed the video hit that like button and uh share if you think somebody can use this info and um last but not least you see that that's the subscribe button go ahead and hit that and i'll see you guys on the next one i like the ride in my two-seater